What's good, y'all? We back again with another live interview from the first annual Mayor Mazi event, Because I Care. Man, mental health is so important. We're sponsored by the Department of Behavioral Health. And right here, I got none other than the amazing host, Just Jocelyn, coming from y'all from Just Be You Radio on Station Head. Yep, Station Head. Also, y'all can find her on Talk To Me Tuesdays. Yeah. Listen, man, <laughs> this girl do a lot. She one of the dopest girls I've met in this whole media game right now. So. Tell me about the feelings that's going on, you know, through your head, through your mind right now, you know, just getting this event together, you know, being Man. so integral in the execution. Well, definitely, I'm just here to help Mayor Mize and make sure the event goes flawless and impeccable. I'm excited to have Tone here. We definitely got some amazing things going on later down in the show. We're going to try to get real interactive with the, um, with the audience and just basically make it known for everybody how important mental health is, especially minority mental health. So the event is minority mental health awareness and more so just to kind of bring that awareness to our communities is so so taboo, it's such a topic that we don't really talk about in the in the community, not even just the black community or I'm a lesbian, African American female, so I'm like a triple minority threat. So I definitely understand the, the quarrels when it comes to mental health, just you know, whether it's appearing weak or you know, not wanting people in your business, whatever the case. So I'm just here to kind of bring that awareness, make sure that the audience is interactive, make sure that the event goes great, make sure everybody knows what's going on, the resources that are available. We got some amazing um, organizations came out to support the event. So I'm excited about that alone because sometimes that community involvement isn't there. It's like usually a gap. Yeah. So I'm really excited and proud that um, Mayor Mize was able to bridge that gap and bring these organizations together right. as well as, you know, have us all here to be able to right. utilize the resources. So I'm excited. Whatever. So you already touched on it. So just how important is mental health, not just in communities, but in our community, the black community, because like you said, it's so taboo, you know what I'm saying? People, whenever you upset or whenever you go through some sort of depression, mm -hmm. people all, you trip and pray on it, you exactly. know what I'm saying? But yep. sometimes, sometimes, you know, in our, in our respect, in, you know, in our glory due to God, but sometimes that's not enough. That's not enough, and this is true, and I definitely um, agree, which is why I think the awareness aspect is so important because some people really, a lot of us either we're misdiagnosed or we're just, we just never been diagnosed. We don't really understand what it is, you know, that we're going through. We don't really know. It's just like, oh, I'm stressed or, oh, this is fucked up. And unfortunately, like in our community, it, like stress is such a, a norm. It's too loose. I feel like it's loose. Stress is such a norm. You know, depression is such a norm that we don't really even aren't even able to identify that this is an issue. It's, you're not supposed to feel stressed all the time. You're not supposed to feel anxiety all the time. You're not supposed to always be angry and always be worked up. That is not normal. But in our community, as African-American people, we are just normally hostile. So so many people are just like, yeah, like you said, oh, you tripping or oh, whatever, when it's like realistically speaking, some people do have more things going on. It is usually deeper. Some things need to be, you know, addressed on a more professional level. And that's what I like about bridging that gap with these organizations coming together and really identify, okay, maybe you are just stressed, but maybe it is something deeper. Maybe you are depressed. Maybe you're clinically depressed. You may have clinical anxiety or, you know what I mean, bipolar depression. Me personally, I'm, I'm a manic bipolar. So for most of my life, I never realized that I was. I'm just like, oh, I was just like, I'll be, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'll be on the go, you know what I mean? And then to, to be at my age now, right. to just be recently getting diagnosed, or it's just like, damn, okay. So I was faced with, well, now am I less me? Like, I don't want y'all to fix me because I've been this way my whole life, yeah. but just being aware that, okay, I, I'm still normal, I'm still me, but there is something deeper. So to be able to at least hone on and identify like, okay, I may be having an episode or something like that. And just being able to be aware of where, where you are within yourself. It's not necessarily to change you. And that's really the the um, issue that a lot of people have. They don't want to kind of go into it because now they don't want to be labeled as this or labeled as that. So I just feel like it's all about embracing it and just, I just rather be aware. I think it's just like cancer. You rather know than not know. Turn it into your superpower pretty much. You know? You know what you you've been I I, I could tell because because you because you hosting this event right now yes and I can already tell you got so much experience doing this but you know talk me talk me through or walk me through rather you know just briefly your beginnings you know coming up as a host as a mm. personality you know what I'm saying just going through the anxieties of putting your content out there for the first time right you know just, honestly you know, tell me about um if I'm being honest just it's always been my personality which is mm. why I, I hone in on the fact that. You know, it wasn't until recently that I realized, oh, it is a superpower, but it's always been my personality to just kind of be more outgoing, more outspoken. I've always been in situations I'm speaking on behalf of others. And, you know, it was honestly other people to seek me out. I didn't 
so, seek out to be a host. I didn't plan to be a host. That wasn't my thing. But I've had, you know, so many people come to me and request me to host their events. And I'm just like, okay, I'm not a host. But then once I was able to own it and stand into it, like, okay, I know what I'm so doing. Weird. Exactly. It's, it, and just, and it, I really just stand by just being myself. Just being myself, which is, you know, what my brain is all about. Just be you because at the end of the day, somebody going to fuck with it. And that's just how it's been working. Mm. And it's just like, I just, you know, just try to continue to be transparent. I know that my transparency along the way has been, has opened a lot of doors for me because sometimes whether it's hosting or, you know, anything in media, especially now with social media and everything like that. So many people are, you know what I mean, giving you like half-ass information or you get in the glamorized part of people. So I know me personally, like my transparency has helped me along the way because, when you're open and honest with people, you relate to the audience better. You relate to the people that are seeking you out better. So that has been my experience, and that's what has gotten me to where I'm at now because a lot of people seek me out because I'm so open and honest. Facts, facts. And I definitely look forward to, you know, working with you later on because we definitely going to work this crowd. We definitely, you know? And I'm definitely going to lean on you, you know what I'm saying, because <laughs> – you the most experienced host that I've met right now. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, and, you know, I appreciate you for definitely, you know, giving me the opportunity to work with you on, a, on this type of time. You know, tell the people where they can find your content, find all, everything you're putting out there, all that dope energy you're putting out, social media, whatever it is. Tell the people where they can find you. Well, of course, I'm Just Jocelyn. So you guys can follow me on Instagram at Just Jocelyn 3 underscores. You can catch me on Facebook, um, Just Jocelyn. Also, you can tune in, download the Station Head app, and uh, follow Just Be You Radio, which is my radio station. Um, I have two shows. I have All Nighter, which is every Thursday, 10 p.m. to midnight. It's a sexy adult late night show. I also have Talk To Me Tuesday, which is every Tuesday from um, at 9 p.m., and that's live on Instagram and Facebook. Or you can always check out my website, JustBeYouTV.com, and you can book me, catch up on any episodes of any of my previous shows, and see where I'm going to be at and what events I'll be doing. Hey, listen, y'all heard her, man. Listen, y'all got to tune in to this Because I Care first annual Maramazi event. We're going to be on IG Live. Make sure you check it out. Listen, this event is going to be magical, hosted by none other than just Joss. Y'all see me. Make sure y'all get here. If y'all ain't got your tickets, come on down. Show's about to get started. Come see y'all later. Come down, lay off. <laughs>